Hi guys, it's from Sebastian here again with another awesome tutorial here in my channel. So if you're new to this channel, please do me a favor of hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notified once I drop an awesome tutorial like this. So this is a mobile 3D software, okay? I have a course on Blender, which is a 3D PC version of this mobile app. And then as well, you can still be using the normal scopes on your mobile. So you can check my course out on Blender. It has everything you need to start up. Okay, so let's head back to the normal scope. This is a very, very great app and software. So far, I've used it. It's very, very interesting. I was so amazed as to the functionality, the speed, the flow. It will be advisable to use it on a landscape like this. To do that is quite easy, very, very easy. Just bring out your tab here and then make sure that you enable auto rotate. So you get, so this is the best view now to use the app. Okay, so once you open the app, you're going to see a default fair like this one now. So the first thing, first thing first, when you open a software, you would want to move what you have in your scene. So looking at this now, if you can't move it, it's a very big problem. So to move this now, you need two fingers. First, you need one finger now to kind of sculpt or drag or do something on this now. So we can do undo. That's this arrow beneath here now is used to undo. So if you go back, we're going to undo this now. So if you want to move this cube now, we can just use our two hands on the cube and then try to move it now. Then try to drag it with our two hands. That's the two fingers, sorry. With our two fingers on the screen, we can do, then try to drag it to wherever we want to drag it. Then if you want to pan through this scene now, we can now hold on an empty scene and then pan through the scene now. You can see I'm panning through this now. So if you use other PC softwares like Blender and Maya, this might not be that very confusing because you are teamed to most of all these tools here, okay? So now one thing you want to check in this Nomad Cup now is this grid tool now. This grid will give you this kind of environment look. So you have a plane that you are working with. So with this grid now, this is now looking like a word. It's no longer looking like a mystic a mystic word without any plan or you don't know the ground and the rest so this now is more much more better so now if you want to pan through we just have to pan through from our scene here so tap on an empty that's where the sphere is if you tap on this sphere you are sculpting on it so i'll click the arrow to go back now and then you can tap on an empty scene to so to you can pan through the cube now so this brush now you can reduce the size increase the intensity with just these two yellow um tabs here so if you increase the first one, you increase the size of the brush. So if you reduce it, you reduce the size of the brush very much well. That's the brush you're using to sculpt. So if you are sculpting, we are sculpting very, very small. Then if you want to increase the intensity, intensity means the pressure. So that means if you if we increase the intensity of, intensity of this now, so a little hand on this now is going to increase the amount of sculpt is going to add, okay? So another thing is how to add and remove stuff. So once you're done with this, now you want to remove this stuff or probably add a new one. So to do that, now you have a scene here. Here is where you can add and remove this sphere. So I can remove this sphere by just clicking delete and then this, the sphere is added from my scene. And then if I want to add, so if you click this plus button now, you can add a lot of things. You can add a torus, plan, UV sphere, head metal, triplanar, ball sphere, cylinder and then you can add a camera as well and then you can add repeaters these repeaters are like modifiers if you use blender okay so they like do some stuff like this array now is gonna do a repetition for you and then this curve might give you a curve of the mesh you have there okay so we are going to add a face now for the sake of this tutorial so i'm going to click click there so it goes out now so with this face now you see it has an eyes already I think I, I undid what I just did. So let me go back to where I have the face. So the face is back now. So if I zoom out now, I can zoom out and then pan through my scene now and then pan through this, okay? I'm kind of drawing on the mesh. I want to hold and then pan through this scene now with one of my hand there and then hold on the scene and then move and then pan through on the scene. I can now zoom in. So hold and then drag this now. So it's going to be giving you the information of your RAM here. So be careful when it turns red to not overdo. So when it turns red now, you will want to like reduce the number of vertices and the rest. Okay, so now we can use the brushes we have here. You have the drag brush now. We can reduce the size of these brushes very much. And then we can drag the cheek of this guy now. So you see, we are now dragging this guy. We can drag the head. So all these brushes now have their different settings. So make sure you do reduce the size of them once you add any one because their size is very much big once you add them. So now we can drag this now. 
and then we can undo all these stuff you just did. So I think the undo has a limit to the trial version because this is the trial version, it's a paid app. Okay, so now you have smoothing. Smoothing is used to smoothing stuff when you are drawing. Okay, all these things are brushed that you used to do some deformations on this mesh now. So you've learned how to move, you learned how to add, and then you've learned how to use all these brushes. So another thing is how to save. Okay, if you want to save stuff now, you see this file folder here, it's very easy. It's mostly on all other apps. Once you see this folder, you know that it's saved. So once you click on it now, you can then save now. So if, I, if you want to save, I will just click on save now. So it has saved the project for me. So for me to use whenever I want to use them. Let's head over to other settings now. So you can transform with this gizmo this gizmo here now you can use it to transform and then move this guy and then rotate these ones are used to rotate and then look at that you can use it to rotate and then you can use this one to rotate as well so all these ones the ones that are circle are used to rotate the ones that are arrows are used to move so the eyes is kind of moving out now okay so another thing here is symmetry so you can see the symmetry is on here so if you don't need the symmetry you can uncheck the symmetry here and then check it back so if you uncheck it now if i take the graph let me just use the select now so let's just use the drag brush now, and then drag the cheek now so you see it's only dragging one side of the cheek now and then once you on the symmetry, if you drag any side, it's going to be dragging that side. So all these are brushes that you can use to deform this now. So make sure that you select the mesh, the actual mesh. Okay. So once you try to do something and it's not happening on this now, so you, you might want to go to your scene and check what you are selected on. So you, you can select the head. This is the head now. It will show you a purple glare there to, to know that you have selected the head. And then you can now click on that scene again and then work on it. So here is where you have modifiers that I said earlier now. So we can add the modifier on this now. So let's go back. So modifiers are more like stuff that you use to work on destructively on a mesh. Okay, so this is a mesh now. So if we add that modifier, what it's gonna do for us now is we can increase the amount of faces here now. So another thing we would wanna do is on the wireframe. So let me on the wireframe of this. So you're seeing what the wireframe looks like. This is the vertices now. So once you have these things on now, you can know the size of your vertices here now. So with this wireframe, you can still customize it. So once you wanna customize stuff, just press and hold on that stuff. You're going to see some options to customize it. Like this version, now press and hold, you can see remesh. So we can remesh this now. So let, let's reduce the resolution now and then remesh now. So it's going to remesh this for us now. And then if you see, if we on wireframe, you see what our mesh is looking like. Okay, so this is great now. So now this inspect now is if you wanna check the UV uh, mapping, the color and the roughness, and then the metallic and the normal, you might not really understand this thing if you're not into 3D, okay? So roughness is the amount of roughness it has, like how rough it is. And then the metalness is how metallic it is. So all these things are like maps now. So they are different on a different scale. So they are just joined together with one settings to control them. So anyone you want to add, you want to make it metallic, you can choose to metal and select metal then as once you select the metal and then you start painting. So that is it about that. Okay, so I want to check this thing now and then remove it now. Okay, it's off now. So now, you have subdivisions of this, you have gizmo. I think I've talked about that one. Okay, so now let's check this one now. So now if you want to change your, your view now, you can change from opaque to subdivision and then from addictives, that's the blending mode of what you're seeing. So, and then detarin and then, and then refractive and then blending. So this is how you want your view to be. So however you want to view, view to be, you can change to that. Okay, so let's head back to opaque now. The default one then you have the the shading okay so you can change this shading now most people like using once they want to most people like using this matte cap now matte cap is really great because it shows you some uh, dark areas and that you might not be seeing if you are using this other shading this lit pbr shading but pbr uh, pbr will add some textures once you check these use textures so any texture that is here, you can be seeing it with this PBR lightning. Here is your post process here. So if you've textured this thing now, what you're going to, if you want to add additional settings, you can do that from this post process. And then here is your background. You can change the color of this background. Now, if you want this background to look like any, we want it to look like yellowish or any stuff, we can make it that way. But then I don't need that. So I'm going to bring it back to where it was before. So this is looking great. So here is your camera. You can change your camera settings here and do some other stuff here. Okay, so you can change from perspective here in your camera to autographic. So autographic gives you a, a view like more like a plain view and then perspective gives you 
the 3d view of your mesh okay so now this is the brush i'm using now so it's going to be showing me the brush and look at it it doesn't have any customized settings now so now here is where you can see your stroke what you want to paint with if you want to paint alpha alpha means transparency so if you want to paint the transparency you can paint that with that and then you might not be needing this starting up okay so then this this as well is your brush settings so you have your brush settings here so you can increase the paint intensity so if you increase the paint intensity it's going to change the color of this material to that one okay so this is material this is when you're actually done with what you're sculpting you can change the material color you can walk around with all these stuff okay so you can increase the paint intensity and as well reduce the paint intensity so this is the color of the material now you can change it to whatever you want so if you're doing texture paint so you take your time and then go around with that so this is symmetry okay the symmetry is enabled i've talked about the symmetry before and then this is your layer so should in case you want to add a layer now so should in case we want to sculpt something and let her remove it back that's group our sculpting layers you can just click on that layer now this layer now this icon there and then add a new layer there Okay, so I can't add more. I can't add another layer now. So let me just remove one of these now. Let me delete this one and add a extra layer. So with this layer I've added now, if I sculpt on this now with this brush I'm using, and then if I want to remove it now, since it's in layers already, I could just go over to that layer and then delete it and then it's gone. So you have here your settings now. So this is the display settings. You can change to smooth shading and then it's going to smooth out the shading for you and then you can change to on the wireframe from here and off it so from these settings here display settings you can off the wireframe and on it which is there here as well and then you can even off the grid as well so there are a lot of settings here so you have your interface here you can add some gestures this might you might not be doing much in these tabs here this is where you want to customize your settings okay so here is where you have all your brushes so once you select any mesh here you can have all your brushes here so like i said the main thing you need to know, know how to do is how to move the mesh, which is you move by holding two hands and then dragging. And then if you want to pan through the environment, you just tap with one hand on the environment and then scroll however you want to move. So if you want to move straight without having to pan through, just hold your two fingers and then drag to the left or right. And then you can move the uh, model as well by holding two hands on the model and then move it okay so that is it about this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to check out the course see the subscribe button if you enjoyed and see you on my next tutorial